Dr. Mindy here, and it is day three of our fast training week. So if you are brand new to my channel, you have no idea what I'm talking about, we are in the middle of a five day fast training week amongst all of our community, not only here on YouTube, but in, on Instagram and Facebook. We love as a community to fast together. And this week, we're focused on immunity, using the principles of fasting that will boost immunity, but also using the principles of feasting and eating to build immunity. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go back, this is all on a playlist, go back and watch the other two days, go back and watch the original video, and you'll see that there's a trend here amongst all of these videos. On this one, I wanna dive into amino acids because we are seeing so many people come into a fasting lifestyle that are already depleted in certain nutrients. And then when they jump into fasting, that depletion just gets worse and worse. So on this video, we're gonna dive right into amino acids and talk about what amino acids are, how do you know if you're deficient, and what foods do you need to be implementing to improve your amino acid stores. So, and get ready, if you guys are brand new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm here bringing you science and information to make your fasting lifestyle easier. And if you love the video, share it out into the world. We're trying to get the world healthy. Okay, ready? Here we go. Three things I wanna talk about on amino acids. One, why do you need to even care about amino acids? So remember, I wanna go back to a basic fasting principle, which is most of the fasts that I teach here on this channel we are working at stimulating something called autophagy or close to that. You know, if you and you guys that are experts fasters, you know, like 17 hours of fasting will help to start to stimulate autophagy. Autophagy is like cleaning up the cells. It's a repair mechanism. On the other side of autophagy is something called mTOR. mTOR is growth. It's what builds up cells. So it makes us, it builds muscles, it makes us, gives us energy for healing. So the goal of building a fasting lifestyle is we wanna go in and out of autophagy and mTOR. So all this week we are fasting 13 to 15 hours. Some of you may be even going even longer, but all this week we are leaning into the principles of fasting, but then we wanna look at what we can do to stimulate healing, stimulate growth, stimulate mTOR. This is where amino acids come in. So what do amino acids do for you? They are, think of them as muscle growth. So those of you that are fasting and you're like, oh, I don't wanna lose a lot of muscle, there's a good chance that when you break your fast, you're not feasting enough. You're not getting enough amino acids into your diet. So if you feel like you're losing muscle with fasting, you're gonna to wanna to lean into more amino acids. So amino acids will help with mu muscle growth, they will help with tissue repair, those of you that have any injuries or surgeries or you use fasting around those, those types of conditions, you're gonna to wanna to add more amino acids in. They're great for healing and repair, they help with digestion, they give you energy, so they stimulate the mitochondria, and they stimulate something called IGF. Now the title IGF is not that important as what I want you to know, and I will link the study in here, is that when you have a deficiency in IGF in your body, it contributes to metabolic syndrome. So we wanna keep IGF high, and the number one way you can keep IGF high is through amino acids. So with that in mind, how would you know if you have an amino acid deficiency? So here are some of the classic symptoms, and I'm kind of curious as I read them out, if you guys resonate with this. We see your comments here on YouTube and the Resetter Collaborative on Facebook, and we know some of these things you guys are experiencing, and we don't want you to stop fasting, but we want you to lean into more amino acid foods. So here's an amino acid, amino acid deficiency is, drum roll, trouble focusing. So if you're struggling to focus, fatigue, memory loss, slow illness recovery, muscle loss, which is happening to a lot of you guys while you're fasting, craving unhealthy foods. So those of you that are struggling to, when you're eating, your, your cravings are all over the place, you're gonna wanna add in more amino acids. 
weakness in your body and a depressed mood. Those are the classic amino acid type symptoms. Okay, so what do you need to be adding in to your diet to get more amino acids? And this is where it gets a little tricky, especially for those of you that are vegetarians. So let me list the foods and then I'll kind of talk about how you can pair your fasting with eating these foods. So foods high in amino acids, quinoa, that works for vegetarians, beans, legumes and beans, that works for vegetarians as well. So we have an overlap on both of those. But then you got to go, if you want more amino acids, you're going to have to dive into more animal products. So eggs, turkey, fish, um, you, you, I even, there is a list here and I'll, and I'll leave them in the notes that certain mushrooms will enhance amino acid production, grass fed beef, chicken, meat in general tends to be packed with more amino acids than vegetables, which is why a lot of the symptoms that I read ahead before show up when vegetarians come to a fasting lifestyle because vegetarians need to work even harder to get these amino acids because they're not getting it from meat. Doesn't mean you shouldn't be a vegetarian. I just, if you are a vegetarian, I want you to be aware that you might have to even lean into an amino acid supplement. And I will put in the notes my favorite amino acid supplement that you guys can link to. So when you go to break your fast, I want you to realize if you have any of the symptoms that I just talked about, if you're having trouble fo focusing, if you notice that your muscles breaking down with fasting, when you go to break your fast, what I want you to do is lean into these amino acid foods. So lean into the quinoa, the eggs, the turkey, the fish, um, lean into the beans. Those of you who have been following me and you know how to cycle your hormones with um, different eating for different matching different parts of your hormones, know that I'm a big fan of beans for hormonal production, especially progesterone. Looks like beans also help with building up your amino acids. So remember, when we're fasting, we're leaning into this repair where it's almost like it's a breakdown. We're leaning into repairing the cells, but then when we eat, if we have symptoms like the ones I just mentioned, you're gonna need to lean into more amino acids. Um, specifically, I, I really think about amino acids for brain production. That's the skinny on amino acids, and I really, all this week, what I'm doing is chunking down different types of foods that I want you guys to be breaking your fast with, that I want you to be eating when you open that eating window up. And when you do that, not only do you keep the immune system strong, but you're gonna really maximize your fasting efforts. I feel like fasting is caught on as this amazing tool for repairing your health, but I also want you to know that food also repairs. And when you combine both of them, you really truly can take your health to a whole nother level. So hope you guys are enjoying Fast Training Week. Let me know in the comments if you are participating. And as always, if you need more information, you're like overwhelmed, we have the companion guide for you guys. It goes with all the videos this week. So just put companion guide in your uh, notes and my, or in the comments and my team will come in and get it for you. Um, as always, I'm cheering you on. And if you want to do this, all of these different strategies around eating and fasting, come join me in January at the Reset Experience where I'm going to take you through a month-long process of feasting and fasting to get your health results that you deserve to get. And so if you want to join me in that, just put Reset Experience in your comments. And as always, you're a miracle. Don't ever, ever give up on yourself. You got this. And I'm excited that you've joined us in Fast Training Week.